Amazon Prime came through. The box already open because I had to make sure everything was right inside. And yes, it is. Everything that we need is inside. These are the butt pads, my dudes. I always see this in every vlog. The butt pads. We don't need butt pads. We don't need butt pads. Butt pads. This one got flat. Butt pads are out. We don't need butt pads. Ooh, what's well, so number one on the box? Yeah. We needed this so bad, my dudes. This is going to help us see way better at night. Um, this is just another one that I always had a problem with this whole time with this videos. If you guys keep up my vlogs, you guys know what this is. This is basically... Oh, an HID light bulb, my dudes. So I ordered another HID light bulb since because I got the new projector lens. So I'm guessing that I'm just going to order a new light bulb to see if it actually like shines better than it's supposed to. Let me just close that up. Yeah, so I ordered these... Uh, if you guys can tell, these are the colors. So I ordered, um, the white. So a pure white I ordered. If you guys don't know, temperature changes the color of the light bulb. If you guys didn't know. And we also ordered from the box. You see, nothing else from the box. is all empty. This, my dudes. You guys are wondering, what it is this? You're gonna see what is this for. This is for the air fritzer, for the air fritzer hose. Because the air fritzer hose that I have on the BMW is no good. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. So let's go outside and let's do some quick mechanic swap out. Yeah, my stuff. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Amazon Prime, I love Amazon Prime. I love you, Amazon. And of course, my dude, the family car is here. The Buick, the Buick, the Buick is here. There's my truck, Linda. We're still in quarantine, my dudes. So that's why there's no one outside. So let's pop up the BMW's hood and you guys can see what exactly I'm talking about. Oh, well, I need to replace that. Amazon key as well. Oh man, it's burning hot inside this car. Let's pop this hood. Ooh, right away you guys can tell that this is unprofessional. So I have a big hole right here because this whole hose is tearing up, it's ripping apart. So I just did duct tape around it and duct tape is helping a lot. So what I did was I got the whole hose from all the way from the bottom of the car and it comes all the way up to the air filter. This bungee is still here. I don't know why it's doing here. The owner had it here. So I just left it on. I just moved it to another location. I'm guessing just to hold this in place so it won't be moving around like that. But I really want to fix this in the in the future wise, but I'm going to fix this right now because this hose is bothering me. So the engine takes a hard time for it to turn on and for it to accelerate because there's not enough airflow. It's different airflow coming into the engine. I'm not supposed to be there. So we're going to replace that, take this whole thing apart, and take out my air filter here and then plug on the new one. And hopefully this, that it works. Simple, right? So basically we're going to be doing that today is just those two little swaps. Easy, right? So let's get to it. So first of all, we got to take off this. There it is. Just drop it down. This as well. Take off the bungees. Unplug this. Unscrew this. Take off this. And then down there is another one just like this one that we're going to take off as well. See right there, that little metal part. So we're just going to take all this whole thing off. And then the one all the way in the bottom, it looks like there's another metal piece right there. It's hard to see on camera, but once I get there, I'll show you guys. So we're going to need a flat head. So let's go get a flat head. I'm not supposed to unscrew this, but it was just placed like this. And since I just put the, the tape, so I didn't really, I guess I didn't really do it that tight since I was going to take it off later. I basically just pulled it out. So that's a bummer. That's a no no. So that's going to go right here for now. I still got to take off this air filter as well to unscrew this, but I'm trying to get to the other part while I was showing you guys, which is this one right here. Here's another one that connects as well. And that one, you can see. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's right there. Let me get this screwdriver and point it for you. So it's right there. There it is, right there, my dudes. That's another middle. We're going to take that off. And it looks like, oh, it's kind of hard to see. Looks like there's a baby one right there as well. That's going to be hard to get. So this is going to replace this. Like I said, I just got to swap this, swap that, swap that. And then the one that's stuck in there, like I'll just show you guys in a couple of minutes. I just want to see how it's going to look. This is the piece that we're looking for, and that goes inside there, probably like like so, because it's like this top one right here is that one right there. Yeah, that one right there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, that one right there. So basically, that's how it's going to go down. So let's try to take out that small piece, and then we'll get to the swappy swappy down here. Yeah. 
today. So I was out here, I was out here surfing by myself, and then my pop showed up from work as always. He always shows up. Just end of work, and he shows up when I always do work when the sun goes down. So I can at least get some shade, my dudes. But now it is a pain to get to this one right here and to this small one right here. Remember, I told you we had two of them to get to that one and that one. We had to take off this, which was this bad boy right here that was just in the way so it was going like like so this way so we just pulled that off so now we have more room to work on so now we're going to continue getting to this one and this one to take this whole thing off but but way it looks at it it looks fine it doesn't look damaged at all it doesn't have any holes or tears you guys can see that happens over time but we're still going to take it out and replace it because i have the new one so i might as well do it with the new one so so we finally got this off, my dudes. It was a pain to take everything off. We're just un unscrewing the metal rings to it. Mm, not yet. Let me push it up. Right there is better. A little more though. Right there. And we finally took it off. Right? No. So I'm just trying to get this last one out here. This is a pain because it's small. Yeah, I don't want to hit the hose. This is the point that we're talking about, my dudes. This small little ring was a pain. And this is uh, the old one. It looks, let's go over here. It was just a hose clamp that was confusing us so, so bad. And we finally got it loose. You guys can tell that. Was, see, we just took it off. Uh, this one looked pretty fine. It wasn't that damaged. This is the new one. And now we're going to swap this to that. So let's swap it. So we saved this one. Let's go. We have to save the hose clamps, my dudes. So we save this hose clamp that we're going to use in the next one. And we get this one. So we finally took this off, my dudes. It was really hard. I had it off camera. It took me a while. So we did. Just got the screwdriver and just moved it side by side. And it finally popped off. This right here, I guess it got it from the junkyard because it looked like it was tagged from the first owner. And this is just for the air floor sensor. So that just goes inside here like so. This is the air filter. You guys can tell. That stays on. I guess that's why they have the bungee right here to hold this in place. So that stays on. So now we got to put this bad boy on. So the way we took it off was... Was it like this? Yeah, it was like this. So this goes inside here. Clamp first. So we got it on. And make it tight. Because... We're gonna try to keep it in the same spot right here. Okay, so we got that on. So this was trapped inside here. You guys can actually see, you guys can see that. That's how the damage, and it goes all the way around here. This was, this is no good at all. Let's get the clamps. Let's go do the other one, my dudes. So we got the clamps on, hose clamps, and then we're gonna install the little one first. Let's see if we can. This is gonna go. Does that um cosita have to go inside or outside? That little piece right here. That's good. That one is no no, it's from outside. That one will go outside. Okay, I just want to know that. Okay, that that's in. Then we're gonna get this one in. There's a lot of tug and play, my dude. Let's do the small one first. Cause the big one seems to be easier. Okay, I'm gonna mess around with it, my dude. Once I gotta figure it out, I'm gonna record it. It's a lot of tug and play. It took us forever to finally do it, my dudes, but we finally got it done. We did the bottom one first, which is the biggest one, and then we clamped it. And then now we're doing the small one, and right now we're clamping it. So we finally got this piece nice and tight. You guys can see I'm pushing on it and tugging it, and it took a long time. So now we're going to put this back right here, and then we're going to continue on putting the whole effort that goes right here my dudes done you guys can see here we got this done like i showed you guys you put this back take out this you have more room to play with we just gotta plug this back on was up here so it looks like we're gonna have one middle clamp that goes back here my dudes that snaps on right here and by the way it looks at it from right here it's kind of it's possible to do but the owner before me what he had he had this between both of them and a clamp here and a clamp here so we need so we need more clamps so we're gonna go to AutoZone most likely 
I'm most likely here as well. We're missing a clamp right here. So we're going to take this so we can get a big clamp to clamp this up. Went to AutoZone. Got what I needed. Got some clamps right here, my dudes. We opened it up. Of course, Max on, Max on, coronavirus still out there. I don't even call it coronavirus anymore. But still, I call it coronavirus. And now we can take these off. And then we head home and finish up. If you guys never seen a hummingbird in your life, that's a hummingbird. Looks cool. Look how it's flying. Oh, just flew away. So anyways, my dudes, back to the car. Um, the plastic thing that we had, it's inside already. But it seems tight. So I don't think I'm going to put a clamp over it. I could put a clamp over this for safety. You guys can tell the different colors. See, this is rubber. There's a plastic coating that was in it. And so I see it's tight. But see, I can take it out. That's what we're talking about. So it won't be all, see, all loose and all wiggly. So I just shove this inside. You better go. Shove it inside. And look, it's not movable. It's like it's really placed. So I could put a clamp up here for safety. I, should we do? Should we do a clamp up there? Yeah, yeah put up a clamp. I, up I there. think so. For safety, it'd be more tight. Forget so we won't lose that much air. And then I'm gonna put a clamp on, which is one of the new ones that we bought. A really, really big one. That's all they had. So it's gonna be right here. And then the other one's gonna be right there. Let me cramp, cramp on this one first. Crap. Let me cramp this one first. So now we got the first clamp. You guys can see the first clamp is already on, like I said. Now we're gonna put this one on right here. And then like like so. So it's gonna be right here. And then this clamp's gonna be in the back. So we're gonna have two clamps in the same position holding that. Two clamps, like I said, you guys know what I'm talking about right there. Because of the plastic that we have in there. And then now we have the air filter almost. The air filter hose, but it's sitting up pretty high. So they probably got the bungee to hold it yeah. in place. They can move and stay away from this. From the heat yeah, from the heat. Okay, let me finish up doing the air filter like I said. We're gonna put a clamp on right here to hold this in place like so. See, if we put it right here, my dudes, it, it's be hitting this. It'll be hitting everything here. So that's why they have the bungee rope for it. So they can move it over here. And that's why they had it attached up right there, which is kind of... It's kind of weird. It's kind of Mexican, Mexican style right there. Is that Mexican style, Juan? <laughs> my dad got mad. It's kind of weird. It's not. It's not professional, right, baby? Professional is the right word to use. It's not professional. So we finally got it with two clamps in the back. We tried to play with it. It kept popping up, you guys saw. So we kind of twisted around. We have this one kind of tugging right here, so that might over time but we have the air filter right here because we can get to the air because the whole point of this is this has to absorb the air in the car so hopefully it does work normal duct tape for these normal duct tape which is very good from where we come from took it longer than i expected to go to autozone to get the clamps and so on so on the mess with them play with it so it took longer than i thought so you gotta let me do subscribe down below at louis vlogs follow me on instagram at louis vlogs facebook page at louis vlogs see you guys next one so peace out